Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm giving myself a little bit of a break with a nice easy review because we're taking a look at a game that is pretty much universally loved and recognized as one of the best 2D fighters ever and that's Street Fighter Zero Two aka Street Fighter Alpha 2 which was obviously developed and published by Capcom and released on pretty much everything available in 1996 the arcade, the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation the Sega Saturn which is the version I'm using for this review and there were a bunch of re-releases in later years and it's obviously the follow-up to the original Street Fighter Zero which I reviewed some time ago and I said that that game was awesome and I stand by that that's a really great game but this one just takes everything that was great about the original and just cranks it up to 11 for starters Zero Two does bring back the same basic gameplay from the original essentially the gameplay for any Street Fighter game with three punch and three kick buttons the usual array of special attacks and it brings back the super combo gauge that's split into three ascending segments each level allowing you to execute a more powerful attack but added on top of that is the new ability to perform custom combos where every attack landed has the potential to hit up to four times and this was a really cool and much appreciated addition and I think it's something that this game holds over zero three where you have to choose between having a standard super combo meter or a custom combo meter here you have both at the same time aside from that you also get an expanded roster that brings back all of the characters from the previous game with Goki Vega and Dan all being selectable from the start plus you get a bunch of new additions from other Street Fighter games as well as the debut of fan favorite Sakura but all those characters and gameplay features aren't really worth much if the gameplay itself isn't any good and this game plays as well as any 2D fighter ever has. The controls are pretty much perfect and extremely responsive. The collision detection is spot on. There are a bunch of different speed settings, gameplay modes, and difficulty levels to choose from. This is one of those games that I can play for hours alone or with friends on any day of the week. It's one that I never get tired of and that's mainly due to the amazing gameplay that for me never gets old and really doesn't need any improvements. This is one of the all-time great 2D fighters. The other thing that makes this game so endearing to me is the outstanding mid-90s Capcom presentation. This is when I think they were really at the top of their game. These are some really beautiful 2D sprites and this is probably my favorite representation of the Street Fighter characters. I love the very colorful and anime inspired look. Plus the stages look really great too. They're just as colorful and detailed as the characters themselves with each character having their own unique stage this time around which is something that was not included in the first game. My personal favorites being Guy's stage with all of the Final Fight references and Eliza's birthday party that features cameos from a bunch of classic Capcom characters. On top of that, Zero Two features one of Capcom's best soundtracks in my opinion. Every tune is memorable and sounds great. They really match the stages and the characters in their tone. My two favorite tracks are the high energy rocking tune for Adon stage and the more bubbly and fun track from Sakura stage. Overall there's really 
nothing I can complain about with this game. Like I said, this is an easy review for me because Zero Two is so great and pretty much loved by everybody, myself included. But it's one I really wanted to cover as I'd like to get around to all of the Street Fighter titles eventually and if nothing else just remind people that this game is great and they should be playing it as in right now this very minute <laughs> So this game is amazing, and because it was so amazing, it sold really well, meaning copies are easy to come by, and they're very affordable with the Japanese versions being the cheaper options. The Saturn and PlayStation ports both typically go for about 10 bucks, which is a great deal, but I'd recommend going for the Street Fighter Zero Collection on the PlayStation 2, which is also about 10 bucks and features all of the Zero games, as well as Pocket Fighter, which is another favorite of mine. Whatever way you decide to play it, though, on a console or in an arcade, you're guaranteed to love Street Fighter Zero 2. It's an absolute classic. <laughs> 